So I'm out with the group again. We are headed back to Sandy Sanders. There were several that wanted to go last time that couldn't make it. And so we got a lot of new people headed out here. Um, we're gonna explore Sandy Sanders, explore some back roads on the way there. And we're gonna camp out tonight. It's like 20 degrees right now. Uh, but I think tonight it's only gonna get down to like 30 something. So it should be a little warmer. But I'm excited. It's good to get out again. It's been a little while since I got out on the last trip. Uh, let's go see what we can find today. Our first stop along the way was a section where you can still see the east and the westbound lanes of 66. These bridges make a pretty neat picture and you can see they've been replaced at some point, but it's still pretty neat to check out. It's one of the few places where both east and westbound lanes still remain. Next up was the old schoolhouse in Hex, Oklahoma. The church, the school, and the old gas station is about all that was ever here. The gas station has since been converted into a house, but you can still see where it was. It wasn't long and we found ourselves in Sandy Sanders WMA. This is a place the pictures and video don't do it justice. You just have to come check it out for yourself. Be sure and look up any regulations before you head out here. There is certain seasons that it's closed. time for a quick stop for lunch where we made new friends, new memories, and chatted about the adventures we have done and those to come.
from here, there was a few of us that was splitting off and heading home. Altogether, we've covered about 100 miles at this point, and those of us that were going to camp, we're going to continue on. It's certainly been a nice day, and I'm glad we made it out here. For several people, this was their first trip here. For those of us returning, it's always worth the trip out here. Already ready to get back to Sandy Sanders. But the trip's not over yet. From here, we would be continuing on the Oklahoma Adventure Trail, doing some of the southwest portion.
It wasn't long before we had made it to our home for the night, Lake Hall WMA. This was the first time for me being here, but it did not disappoint. We didn't waste no time getting camp set up as it was quickly getting chilly. We got a fire going and got supper cooking. On the menu tonight was something pretty complicated. I had a can of chili with some Fritos. It hit the spot. Then it was off to bed. The next morning we awoke and it was a pretty chilly night. It's colder than was expected, that's for sure. But we all survived. Well, it's been a chilly night out here at Lake Hall, but as you can see behind me, the lake's pretty nice in the morning. The birds and stuff are popping out. It's been a cold, pretty cold night, even with diesel heater and all, so I know the other guys are pretty cold. But it's been fun. Uh, never camped here before, but this is a nice place. Definitely worth coming back. It's one of those lakes out in the middle of nowhere that surprisingly it's clean. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of trash, but not the usual trash that is out here. But it's been a peaceful night for sure. Got to have a campfire because this county's not in a burn ban. That was kind of nice. But anyways, we're gonna get around to get some breakfast, coffee and all that for everybody and hit the trail today and see some more back roads. We dropped down to Hollis to get some gas and from the gas station, we saw this old grain elevator. From there, the finds just kept coming. Hollis definitely could be its own trip. We'll have to come down here and see what all this town has to explore. Here you can see the old bus barn from the school, as well as what's left of the school, although harder to see.
rest of the journey, we would be roughly following the southwest section of the Oak as we headed back towards central Oklahoma. Although we would find a few extra stops along the way that were pretty interesting. had intentions of doing the tough water crossing here, but it looks like no one has done it in quite some time. The bank was pretty high and had a lot of grass growing on it, so you could see no one had done it. We decided not to tear it up and go around. Of course it wouldn't be a trip to this side of the state if we didn't swing by purgatory on the way home. Thank you. 
It's a little wet. From here we split ways, heading home to get ready for another work week. But after each work week comes another weekend and another new adventure. Join us on the next one as we continue to leave no road untraveled and see what we can find living on the back roads. New adventures, new friends made, and new memories made. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I'll see you on the next one.